In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this playful painted title animation. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. Let's get right into it. We start with creating the scribble text outlines, which then will be filled with paint. So we grab the title tool and add our text. <laughs> Correct spelling would be great though. I use one of my favorite fonts, Biosons Bold. Size 160 pixel, it is available on Adobe Fonts. We swap fill and stroke here in the title tool, stroke width 2 pixels, color black. We align the layer to the center using the align tool. Next, let's turn the outline into a rough scribble. And the effect to do that is roughened edges. We set the border to around 3,5. Scale to around 250. Complexity 2 is fine. You could change the evolution to make different parts visible. Then we add turbulent displays. We reduce the amount to 5, the size to 10. To animate it, we add an expression to the evolution. Time asterisk 1000. The evolution changes 1000 degrees per second. This creates tiny little movements. Next we duplicate the layer. Change the stroke width to 1 pixel. In Roughen Edges, we reduce the border to 2, the scale to 200, and change the evolution of the Roughen Edges effect to see different parts of the stroke. We duplicate the text layer, reduce the border to 0,5 and change the evolution once more. Then we slightly adjust the positions of the top two text layers. Offset them by a few pixels. Let's adjust the evolution some more. And if you want the strokes to be more visible, you could reduce the border values. Then we add an adjustment layer, name it Posterize Time and add Posterize Time. We reduce the frame rate to 12 frames per second. Now we have a unique scribbled outline. If you want to fade the outline in, you have to animate the border properties starting at a high value, ending at the values we've set them to. Before we actually add some paint, let's check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. Learn how to create expressive typography in motion with After Effects. Design letter forms in Illustrator and animate them in After Effects. Start with research and references, color, and then design a lettered phrase in Illustrator. In After Effects, animate it using kinetic typography. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. Use the code manualdeswashen10 for an extra 10% off. Alright, let's paint. We duplicate the top text layer one more time. Swap fill and stroke again and change the color to whatever color you want the paint to be. Let's go for baby blue. Then we change some of the rough and edges settings. Border 25, scale 300, and complexity 7. Alright, it doesn't look that real yet, it's way too covering. So let's create a texture. We add a new solid, name it texture. Move it below the adjustment layer and then add turbulent noise. Basics of linear, contrast, 355, brightness 30, complexity 10. Again, we animate the evolution with an expression to have some very subtle movement. Time asterisk 10. Now we use the texture as luma mat for our baby blue text layer. And suddenly it looks much more realistic. To make it look even better, we duplicate the two layers and add a second layer of detail. We change the fill color of our text darken it slightly. Then we change some of the turbulent noise settings. Contrast 1200 and brightness minus 45. The more brightness, the more of the darker color is visible. Minus 45 seemed good though. Awesome! If you want the scribbled outlines to still be visible, I would move them above the two paint layers. Next we need to animate the paint. We select the Title Animation 5 layer, use the Rectangle tool and add a simple mask, which covers the whole text. 
We set a mask keyframe at 2 seconds, then move the right edge to the left at the beginning. Then we add easy ease to both keyframes. We add another random mask to the text layer below. And link the mask property to the one above. Next we need to add this, well, kind of magic brush that moves along and actually adds the paint. We grab the pen tool and draw a line, from the beginning to the end of the text. We add some loops and curves, adjust the shape a little bit. We name the layer Brush, move it below the adjustment layer and set the stroke width to around 30 pixels. Color, <laughs> the baby blue again. Let's pick the color directly from the text, easier. We go into the stroke settings, then into the taper property and set the start length to 100%. <laughs> Any idea why the value always snaps back? <laughs> That's really annoying. Then we add a trim parts animator. Set the end to 3% and what we need to do is set the line cap to round cap. By the way, that's better. We add a keyframe at the beginning. Then we set a start keyframe at around 18 frames. We set the end to 100% at 1 second and 15 frames. Finally, we set the start to 100% at 1 second and 20 frames. Or at least we try to. Finally, we add roughen edges again. And set the border to 35. Scale 100 is fine. And we set complexity to 6. Which makes it look more like paint. Awesome! Finally, we add one more tiny detail. Small color splashes along the way. We use the ellipse tool, double click on it to add a round shape. We scale it down to 20 pixels, width and height. Let's name the layer Splash. Stroke width 20, color <laughs> baby blue. We animate the size with two keyframes. Around 20 at the beginning, then we scale it up to 140 after 7 frames. Then we add roughen edges again. Set scale to around 50, complexity 2 is fine. Then we animate the border. Around 20 at 1 frame, we set a keyframe. Let's press U to see all the keyframes. Around 85 at 8 frames. Then we cut the layer after that. I'm gonna quickly solo the layer to show you this cute little splash we just created. So we spread them along the way. And maybe add one at the beginning. And just like that we created a very unique painted title animation. Check out the free project file and all the other links in the description. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell because you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one, see you on the next one, bye guys!